Greetings, viewers, and welcome to another edition of Slacker's Symposium, the Roundtable Edition. <laughs> I'm the Jay Crows. I'll be your host and moderator. I was chosen because I have one set of skills, uh, which is hearing myself talk. Um, but the real reason I was chosen is because I won't be able to contribute to today's topic in much of a meaningful way. Uh, but the creator of this channel likes when I'm in his videos. So that's why I'm here today. We Wait, all like what? it. We're we do videos. like it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Quick disclaimer. Today's episode is not going to focus on running. Uh, we're still in the midst of uh, the midichlorian scare. And so we're going to change our topics a little. Um, park hopping is a big part of the Run Disney experience. So that's what we're going to focus is on an area of park hopping that's important to this group in particular. And so I'll give the introductions to our esteemed panel who's joining us from coast, literally to coast. <laughs> Boom. The Slackers headquarters here in Abilene, Texas, the storybook capital of America. Look that's at right. that. <laughs> True story. We have with us the amazing, uh, the loving, the uh, joyful, one and only, Lynn's Reed, give us a big, big smile. There it is. Hello. I, I would like to mention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I actually had no idea who that would be. Yeah. But I would like. I am repping my Disneyland onesie, which you can sort of see. Bye -bye. Yeah. And I think it's important to note that this is the second time I've worn a onesie on Jared's channel. So that's got to be something. For, I think like, that's some award. Two more times than some get a sticker. You do. Every kitchen sink. Every time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Along with um, the amazing Liz Reed, she has her own channel. She, she has uh, guest star credibility here on the Slacker channel. Um, uh, when you get to hang out with her, it is always Slacker approved. She goes by Bell898. We call her Kimberly. Oh, joining us today for the yay. first time. Yay. I feel so special. No, oh. special. You are. Yay. Longtime <laughs> colleague of mine, a fellow Abilinian, someone that I refer to as sibling, even though she's not for me. <laughs> the one and only, the Jez D. Hello. Woo! Welcome to the symposium. And the man who needs oh, no introduction, the creator of all things Slacker. You know him as Jar Ox and Spoon. We call him Jared. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone. <laughs> I am uh, at my Disneyland half uh, cup with a, a beverage from the West Coast. Actually, this beverage was introduced for, uh, to me by Kimberly. This is actually a winter dream tea latte with ingredients from Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. Yay! Yay! I, I approve. The man, the man, On this the West legend. Coast edition. Yes. And Mr. What a J. Great, Crow. Uh, yeah. What a great segue into where we're going i think that was sign language for segue uh, <laughs> the west coast edition uh, what we're gonna focus on today uh, hey i'm the moderator y'all yeah good luck today's man. symposium we're gonna focus on ways where disneyland does things better than disney world uh the reason i had to recuse myself and was named the moderator is because I am a uh, solitary Disney World person. I've never known the joys of Disneyland. And so I'm hoping to learn a lot today. And maybe some of my Disney World biases will be overcome. So um, this is y'all's chance to convince me uh, to take that trip out there. So round one, we're going to go around in order. Uh, we're going to start with Kimberly. And we want to know one thing Disneyland excels in better than the WD. W. Okay. Are you ready for this? Ready. Dun, dun, dun. Haunted Mansion. A, it has my birthday, so that must be special. B, it has the hat box ghost. That baby returned in 2015, I believe, for the 60th anniversary. So it is much better. Plus, you get the decorations at Halloween and Christmas. Oh. Mic drop. Yes. Man, yes. Good. That's oh. wrong in the first round. Yeah. Uh, other panelists, <laughs> you got a lot. Uh, you got a lot of ground to make up. Uh, yeah. Out of the gate. What do you? Running. Okay. Do you like the original layout or the Nightmare Before Christmas layout? 
I have not been on the Nightmare Before Christmas. Ween, yeah. Before Christmas. I, have not, I have not experienced that one Stop yet. Stop it. It's been, it's been in refurb twice uh, while, while we were there. Like, so we've been seen on the decorations start to come out. Like, there's Jack, and but we couldn't go in. You can we'll smell die. the we're gingerbread doing. cookies, the cake they put on the... T- oh, oh. I prefer the original one, but this the holiday overlay is awesome. It is yeah. amazing. Nicely done. I'm, I'm learning stuff already. Just you will find a minute there. I kind of flubbed, and I gave you a little extra time to think. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. I had some ideas in my um, brain already, but I feel like I um, need to shift a little bit with my with our response. And I'm going with Space Mountain. We're going to stay stick with the ride thing. The only place where I have roller coaster cried is on Space Mountain. Well, after getting off. Now, which version? The Star Wars one. Oh. Hyperspace. The hyperspace. With the music behind you. Was that the one that we also got like kicked off of the ride because we were too... we were too heavy. <laughs> the weight wasn't balanced, so we got to, we got to back off the... <laughs> we went down this creepy track into this, what looked like a janitor's closet for the car... And they had us all get out and go into this other creepy hallway. And we all stood there for a really long time. And then they're like, oh, no, y'all can go out and go back in and get back on the ride. But apparently, when you go down the track after you've loaded and you sit in front of the window where the people are waving at you goodbye, that's where they're weighing it. And if it's not evenly distributed, go to the creepy room. So that was another experience, too. But the hyperspace one, it just was just perfection. Learning. It is. So I just want so to much. quickly clarify the two individuals on this symposium um, who would have to ride on the inside of the Dumbo ride. Correct. Fascinating. Fascinating. There was a group of people that um, they were all together and they were all much l- bigger than us. They were just Clearly. taller yeah. people in general. <laughs> Any follow up for Jess Deed? I was going to say agree. Hyperspace Mountain. Like, I also shed a little single tear after that. But I will say that five days after I went on that for the first time, my seizures came back. And I'm not saying it's because of Hyperspace Mountain, but I do, I do wonder because it's very flashy. It is very flashy. That was, but you know what? I do it all over again. You would Probably risk not, it, wouldn't actually. You? <laughs> I would love you. <laughs> Don't go on it. If you're epileptic. Yeah, maybe, not a good maybe idea. Maybe get through. <laughs> did you get to do? Did you do Ghost Galaxy yet? No. That version. I'm not done. I took a young child on that and then paid for it afterwards because she was very traumatized. But again, worth it. <laughs> we'll do it again. You know, we call that collateral. <laughs> All right, because my cauliflower pizza is amazing and I want to keep eating it, uh, I'm going to throw it up to Lynn's Reed. Uh, Grace us with your thoughts and feelings. Okay, so I might need, you might need to moderate this because I'm going to try and sneak in two into one, but I'm (laughs) going to put them. Y'all all all give us the rules before camera. Well, let me just, let me present it to you and then you can decide. Okay. But I'm going to say... Based on under the umbrella of attractions in Disneyland, both the mountains and Fantasyland are better. Because what am what I mountains? am I allowed? Please all the mountains. You're allowed. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. All, Does that all include the mountains, period <laughs> independence, Space, and Flash and Big Thunder. Now, in Fantasyland is better because of the scary rides that make you confront a lot of deep issues in your soul. Snow White, Snow White. Mr. Snow White. Toad, <laughs> Pinocchio, all of those rides that make you really go down deep and see if you can confront fear and come out the other end unscathed. So they are learning experiences, much like Splash Mountain is a learning experience yes. about how you can handle going down a mountain unrestrained. Can you do it? I don't know. So I think that overall, 
The mountains and fantasy land at Disneyland are more edifying, growing experiences. And what are we at the Disney place for if not to learn and grow? Exactly. Can I? Um, I thought I was going to die on Splash Mountain when I went on it in Disneyland. And that was just a year ago. Yeah. You probably were yeah. going to die. It was probably very terrifying. <laughs> I had no idea it was that steep. I thought sure yep. was not. They would nope. have some sort of restraint on this small body. No. Nope. No. Sitting you on a log. Like, <laughs> like feel like you're gonna fly out of the log. Yeah. But you know a yeah, sad but... story? What? My splash mountain ride broke at the very top, so we had to climb down and I didn't get to go down the Oh. Yeah. You also confronted your mortality. Yeah. I did. No, that is scary. <laughs> that is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand why they don't strap you in on Splash Mountain. In Disney World, they have a bar to come down <laughs> on you. And you have the little thing to hold on to. But you get on that Heimlich train <laughs> and you're seat belted in. I'm like, come on. This is the slowest ride in all of Disney World or Disneyland. Disneyland. Disney place. And you still have to seat belt in there. But There's also not even like the... This on Heimlich. It was just a do 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 do. But there are giant watermelons that could crumble. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, and I agree with you on the confronting fears because I did that a year or two ago because I remember being scared on Snow White when I was a wee lad and I was like, let me see if that's scary. Then I got off. I'm like, yes, it is scary. So scary. And also, Mr. Young Self. Just Mr. Toad in general. Oh, yeah. Mr. Toads is like... Kimberly, Kimberly wants to say something. Trippy. <laughs> Kimberly, tell us about Mr. Toads. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, you end up in a surprise place. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Jared, didn't you feel like after confronting your mortality, like what did you leave with after confronting your fears and, and knowing that you could make it through? What was the impact for you? On which ride? No way. No what? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think it was it was more of a life lesson that you weren't a scaredy cat, young me. It oh. is. Scary, right? <laughs> I, I just went back in time and put my arm around younger me, which is probably the same height as I am right now. <laughs> I was like, "You're okay, dude." <laughs> now, you like rewrote a narrative. Wow, That's big. Yeah. Are those the thoughts and feelings you were going for, <laughs> Let's read. That it is. That is a success. But Jez, what were you going to say? Well, I was going to take it to the other coast because you know they started taking out Stitch's great ex- great escape, and I think how many young children from the nineties could go back and really <laughs> tell themselves it's okay that alien was terrifying in Alien Encounter, and your parents should never have been on it. <laughs> did any of you go on it? Yeah. Justin, did yeah. you ever go on Alien Encounter? I don't think I ever did. You would remember. I'm still scared yeah. of the bug, the Bugs Life one. Oh, no. oh, yeah. oh. If you're scared of Bugs mm. Life, you would you would have peed in your pants. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Alien I Encounter agree. was yeah. off brand, I would say, for the Disney place. It was that was a surprising experience. I think my brother cried on that one, and I may have laughed. I think mine did too. <laughs> <laughs> I did not cry. <laughs> Uh, I took it to the wrong coast, but we had to go there when you talk about your childhood fears. Mm-hmm. All right, Spoon, let's keep this thing moving. Mine is a less exciting answer, but uh, three of us here have been or are pass holders of the DL, and I say discounts are better at Disneyland. Oh, I think it has to do with. Um, the clientele there because the vast majority of them are pass holders and locals so every time you buy something like even at a quick serve they ask you if you're a pass holder mm-hmm. and you get discounts on that you don't get discounts at quick serves at the wdw so i i think that is that caters to that crowd so it's more beneficial to be a pass holder there if you go there often enough but now that they skyrocketed the premier pass holder <laughs> prices I'm not a pass holder anymore, but Linz, you are still a pass holder, so you have those benefits. I am benefits. still, and I still remember when I got my Disney World annual pass in 2018, and I went to Liz Hall's for the first time, Liz Hollis, sorry, Boulangerie Petit <laughs> Um <laughs> and 
I presented them my annual pass with great anticipation and joy, and they turned me away. And I wept into oh, that no. chocolate chip brioche after I realized, why did I do this? <laughs> 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 Wait, can you do that again? Do it again, Justin. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Under the shadow of the Eiffel right. Tower. There's I no one required to take three. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, round one. Huge <laughs> success. My takeaways are that there's this weird theming thing going on at Disneyland that I am not aware of at the WDW. I heard it with Haunted Mansion. I heard it with the Space Mountain. Space Mountain looks almost identical at WDW as it looked when I was 15, with the exception of a few little trinkets in there, particularly in the line. And then my other big takeaway was the person on this symposium, who I feel has the um, the least financial worry when we're at the WDW or any park, brought up discounts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm facing, like, financial calamity because of Jar soon <laughs> he takes me and he just mentioned discounts as his so very interesting uh, Funny runs deep into our blood like, and I appreciate so Lens Reed going deep into our thoughts and feelings and making sure that yes right there is where that got me so great high. round one before we proceed to round two I know the main reason the viewers uh, tune in week after week is to hear the campaign update. So this section of the yes. symposium is brought to you by the Light of Lake Water Conservation Improvement District Campaign 2020 uh, for Justin Crow. Uh, got news today that the election could be pushed back from May 12th, which would mean that all my procrastination and not doing any campaigning is actually going to pay off in a big way. Uh, so for all of you procrastinators out there, um, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Uh, it, it can really come through. So for all the people on this uh, channel watching who can't vote for me, um, remember to vote, Crow, because when I win, we all do. Oh, true. Okay. Approved. <laughs> all right. Hey, Jay Crow, if we, if we don't live in a voting district, how can we contribute to the Crow 2020 campaign? I'm glad you asked. Uh, Lynn's Reed, and uh, you've You're already welcome. contributed. Um, if you want to visit the J. Crow's Instagram page uh, or the J. Crow's Twitter page, pretty soon we're going to be seeing campaign endorsements start popping up there from some of our cast of characters. Uh, Lynn's Reed, um, I've got two of my campaign uh, director, my marketing director is here, and then my campaign finance manager again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge of finance, so we're going to go broke real quick. Real he likes discounts. Don't worry. Yeah, exactly. It's so, um, I'm, I haven't solicited uh, Kimberly for her endorsement yet, but I'm doing that now, so she can't say no. <laughs> I'm there. Yeah, oh, thank you. And so we'll be we'll be spreading the cheer and the joy of this uh, election season that in that way. So you'll be seeing more on Instagram soon. Does that answer your question? It does. Yeah. I feel edified. I feel motivated. And when I'm going to make sure the crow flies this year, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's going to be exciting to see. Uh, I'll, I'll keep everyone posted, so be sure and tune in uh, next week. Thank you. All right, round two. We're going to go in the same order. Uh, so we'll start with Kimberly. Uh, from a moderator standpoint, you're high in the polls right now because your first answer really was big. So mm -hmm. for a second time, something Disneyland does better than Disney World. Okay. I'm going to do like Lynn's where there's two into one because I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> Big Thunder West Coast Edition, you get a boom baby at the end. And <laughs> yes. Small World has Thank characters you. and a holiday overlay as well. Yes. Oh, oh, I, for oh I forgot about yeah. Small World. Love Small World. It's lit, y'all, as some of these people yeah. would say. Yeah. Yes. True. <laughs> Any dis it is. discussion? Just it, it is. Small world is superior. There, it's by, it, by far. When you understand the love for small world. Like it just comes to life. And no, yeah. Jerry, they're not all dead <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> what? They what? are all dead at the end. They're not all dead at the end. <laughs> because do you think Look they're what's angels? happening? 
They're all singing at the end. It's fluffy and cloudy. They're all dead. <laughs> I think this is residual frustration and anger at the end of from like the end of Lost that you're putting on to Small World. There was a moment there the end where Eric broke Kimberly, like broke. <laughs> you, you <laughs> broke Kimberly by saying they're Rewind all Rewind the tape only, and you'll see. I only see you guys in little circles, so I can't really see your reactions. Oh, I'm in another oh, view. Broke, you broke one. poor sweet oh. Kimberly. <clears throat> you know, you broke but, me that's, here. <laughs> but that's wonderful because I love an opportunity to reflect on the finitude of life. And I am on board with dead, dead dolls. Small world. <laughs> I'm on board. Next, and then next time you go small world, just look at it and you'll see I'm right. I think. <laughs> I think. I more of like reflect- the unification of man. Like we're all yeah. from the same planet in heaven. Apparently, Jared thinks <laughs> while you're. <laughs> it was not reflected in uh, the Imagineering story, but I'm pretty sure it's on the cutting room floor in the right. director's cut of that. Okay, my question Hi. is, how did they die? <laughs> did you kill them because nat- you got annoyed nat- with the song? <laughs> natural causes. Poor things. Plus their hearts. They had a this full is, life. This is like a <laughs> chaplain favorite conversation right now. They went I'm on board. Afterlife in their in their best years, their childhood when they were singing. <laughs> <laughs> this is how they play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> And then the little Hawaiian ones. Do you think they're still singing right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kimberly, I love that idea. Maybe Small World is still running. Forever and ever. Oh. <laughs> you can get convict from your neighbor's friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on this really weird twist of this whole world uh, into death, destruction, and COVID 19, we're going to throw it to the one COVID 20. Indeed, round two. This is a big round for you, Jez. Oh. Well, my second pick really goes out to the people at Disneyland because the people at Disneyland just do fashion better. They just look better. I mean, maybe it's because you're closer, you know, there's more local, so you're closer to your house, so you can feel like you can wear a really cute dress all day. I can't do that at Disney World. I'm going to sweat to death, and it's just going to stick everywhere. It's not good. I uh, definitely fall hard into my mom attire at Disney World, so my fishing shorts and my chacos are coming with me. But Disneyland, I feel like you can really express yourself in your most mm-hmm. dignified and the cast members really appreciate that like deep cut bound or shirt that they've never seen i once wore my i have this little mulan jacket that apparently jc penny had for a little bit but didn't sell very many because that was the first time they'd seen it and so you know that does not come very easily at any disney park so i just feel like Fashion game is really strong there. Maybe it's just because it's California. I don't think Florida is really known for its fashion. No. Sorry, Negro. I didn't say that. I didn't hear that. I think that you are the exception to the rule. Well, I, I will think, say. I'm thinking more about Marv right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, but the only Californian in this is wearing a onesie right now. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> Straight ahead with your fashion. <laughs> All right, Jesse. You are going to Disneyland today. What are you going to wear? Are you going bound? Are you going... You're going to Carthay Circle for dinner, too. So what... I think I'm bounding. I'm bounding. If I'm going through my closet, my current closet, probably going with the black and white polka dot dress that's sleeveless sundress, kind of comfy, cute little belt, some good accessories. So I'm not getting too warm. Bring a jean jacket just in case with a few flares. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's like yeah. a nod to Minnie. You're like rocking the dots. So I'll have some pins. Yeah. But also, I mean, I have to have my old faithful backpack because backpack. Yeah. All right, the girl in the onesie approves. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say, J. Crow? I said if she needs any pins, she knows who to come and see. J. Crow. <laughs> Lanyard's full of them. Ooh. 
I have two lanyards full of pins. Are they same here. Pins? I what? have one pin. <laughs> two Cut. two pins. <laughs> I rock your scissors. Oh. Well, that hurt me. You just broke the feelings, Reed. <laughs> oh. I'm not right. afraid of mortality. I'm afraid oh. of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> This symposium has really gotten some thoughts and feelings going. Uh, lots, lots of good stuff. And I know that Lynn's Reed's going to keep it rolling with her round two answer. Disneyland over Disney World. Go. Okay, this was like so abundantly easy. In Disneyland, the fast pass system is better. Way, way better. So I had my Disney World renaissance. Okay, so I did... Wine and Dine in 2017, but I took my niece in 2015. And so that was the first time I'd gone since maybe 2001 to Disney World. And, you know, I think I've said this before on Jar Austin Spoon's channel, and I try not to brag about it, but, you know, I have two master's degrees. I was in school till I was like 28 years old. I'm not dumb, but when I <laughs> logged on, <laughs> To make the fast passes for my tri trip with the Wee One in 2015, I, Lindsay Reed, I, yes, ended up in frustration, rage tears, because I couldn't figure out how to make the system work. And I rage tear cried, but I was nice about it. I just was crying <laughs> to a cast member on the phone. And luckily she walked me through it. But all that to say, that is those are more thoughts and feelings than I wanted to reckon with in terms of fast passes where it's a DL. I mean, now max pass is bomb. That is awesome. If you pay the extra $15 to like be able to do all the fast passes on your phone, that's great. But even before like the excitement of like running back and forth across the park and like trying not to knock small children over so you can get your little paper fast passes. And then the also really sweet thing you can do. I care about this more than I thought I ever did, but I'll go back. So <laughs> you could get your little paper fast passes. And if you didn't use them at the end of the day, there was a sort of like camaraderie about how people would walk up to you and like hand you their fast pass for like at the time in credit coaster. So there was like, I think it fostered a sense of community that the DW doesn't have. So fast passes better. I preached a sermon just now, I feel like. so. All right, I think then. Jared has thoughts. <laughs> yeah. thought it's safe. Down there. <laughs> All right, I, thoughts yeah, and feelings. I, I, I don't have a definitive answer because, like, MaxFast, like, I can pretty much get on anything on any given day for MaxFast, maybe except Radiator Springs if I wait too long. But everything else is fair game, like, even, like, Guardians. Yeah. But um, I don't know about the Star Wars stuff. I haven't been there since i don't even know if it's on max pass now it's not well it wasn't in february so i don't know um but yeah it's it's good like it makes you use other features of your phone like the alarm because it says okay at 441 make another fast pass. okay set an alarm for 441 so you yeah. got to do a little bit more work to do that use your alarm <laughs> yeah set my alarm for that so i got okay what's next what one am i going to go on goofy sky coaster or Pixar pal around. I would I would pick Goofy Sky Coaster. <laughs> they don't they don't have fast passes for Pixar pal around, but that's fine. That's true, guys. I, I yeah, I was like, uh, no, I don't think they do. It's okay. They should have fine. more max passes for like Fantasyland rides. That is accurate. Yes. They don't. That is totally accurate. Mm -hmm. But that yeah, for Peter Pan, Peter Pan needs a fast pass. Yes. So. And Casey Jr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have waited in that line. I have small children in my life. <laughs> Maybe right in the train. <laughs> like, it's, just, it's just not made for grown-ups. Nope. <laughs> look like an idiot. <laughs> I want Quite an undignified cage. experience. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who fight over the cage. Justin, do you have any idea what we're talking about right no, now? I'm learning so much. Um, oh. I'm glad I'm the moderator because I'd be a Terrible panelist. <laughs> all right, final answer. Fast, fast, fast. Moderator, I feel the need to throw it to the creator of all things Slackers for his final answer. Uh, Jar Ox and Spoon, drop some wisdom on us. Well, I think it's well documented on this channel um, about my feelings about Magic Kingdom. 
WDW. <laughs> We've uh, lost um, followers. Uh, Thanks. Uh, yeah, I just, about I just have Billy's really face. I have feelings, <laughs> but like coming. it's not bad. Like I still, I still love to go there. And Disneyland is referred to as the original Magic Kingdom. So I am just comparing these two parks, even though it's really not that fair because Disneyland is pretty big uh, compared to Magic Kingdom. I don't know. I don't quote me on that. I, don't, I haven't looked at the square footage, but looking at these two parks, actually, I'm going to look at DCA, California Adventure also, and maybe everything as a whole. Quick serve is better at Disneyland than Disney World. <clears throat> because Magic Kingdom, Hands down. I have said many times it's, it's a wasteland, but you go into Disneyland, you just go down Main Street, and then, like, if you look, if you look far into the distance and kind of squint your eyes, you can see the castle. But then, if you take a left, you can go to a a great place where Crystal Palace would usually be at Magic Kingdom, but it's <sighs> Jolly Holiday, and that's the nice Jolly Holiday. Holiday with you get <laughs> you get a Matterhorn macaroon, Matterhorn. you get a Dole Whip donut at at a cart there. You can get your your basic Dole Whips and all kinds of other cool things that whatever that place is called, you can get like other cool things there. And, um, along that area, you got Bengal barbecue. And Pongo Pongo. And Mint Juleps. That okay. other place. The place yes, with the good. Julep back in uh, New Orleans and Beignets. Yes. Yeah. DCA, that little chicken place, the fried chicken place. Yes. Six up here, that was pretty good. Where's our fried chicken place? In Over in the Pixar area. Oh, the like the angry yes. chicken. Yes, isn't it? No, no, that's a hot dog place. By the yeah, angry hot dog. Hot dog. Down okay. the yeah, down the walkway from the. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's not uh, a chicken guy. That's a Disney spring. The, the cookie yes. num num. Yeah, cookie num num that comes with milk. No, you just buy yeah. it separately, but it is superior. Yeah, you could buy it. You could buy it with milk, and then like even along that pier, the where um, Bing Bongs. Place. You can get all kinds of candy and yeah. uh, smoothies and uh, 58 different types of churros at Disneyland. The cozy cones. Cozy There's so many cones. things. You can oh, there. cozy cones. I to try the elotes, but I've wanted to. Yeah, so there's just a, a plethora of mm. quick serve options at the DL as opposed hey. to like WDW. Jared, I'm tell not, me your favorite quick serve in the WDW Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Probably Gaston Tavern. Okay. Just for the life. La La Food Crew. And you can get Remember something light. Yeah, you get a, something light like a large cinnamon roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. yes. Snack. Okay. All right, let's say this. You are given the option of eliminating one quick serve in MK and replacing it with a quick serve from the DL. What would it be? DL, not DCA. What would it be? I would replace pretty much anything <laughs> and put the mint julep bar in there. Yes. And really, I approve. Mm -hmm. It's good. Okay. Good answer. Uh, or Jolly Holiday. That's that. <gasps> oh, also yeah. good. Oh, hmm. I already forgot my own question. I'm like, why would you replace Jolly Holiday? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> either, either one of those. <laughs> like even even Plaza Plaza Restaurant. Is that? Yeah. That's right. One, yes. the one with chicken. Like yeah. that's quick serve. Like I'd eat there over pretty much anywhere at MK. Table serve too. <laughs> even though it was just okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Plaza restaurant had excellent fried chicken. It was like for the amount of food we got for the price, it was it was better and, than eating. Like and the parade seats. Yeah, parade Ooh, seats. Can't forget the those. Pixar cake. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that was that was quick serve. So, so that well, is my. That's the Jared I know and love, uh, who came <laughs> with food instead of yeah. discounts. Uh, well done. My big takeaways from round two, uh, we got a boom baby uh, on the Slacker yeah. channel from Kimberly. <laughs> Yay! Whole experience. Uh, yeah. We found out that everyone in California 
uh, has greater fashion sense than anyone in Florida who's not Marv. Shout out. We know Marv. <laughs> You walk. Yeah, I mean, there are exceptions to every there rule. There are exceptions to every rule, exactly. We're complex. Uh, and so, an excellent round two. Um, we have a person. Now, I'll give you a little behind the scenes here at the Slacker channel. So, Jar Rocks Nine Spoon, we had a producer's meeting uh, this morning, so we can make sure, you know, all, we're all ready for, for showtime. And Occasionally, when you're in the loop, you know, you might leak out to somebody. There's going to be a special guest on the, on the channel. And so I kind of leaked it out to my family here that we we're going to have a special guest. So I want you all to have um, some final thoughts because I have a family member who was so excited we had a guest star that she asked if she could be on camera. So final thoughts, and then I'm going to go and, and, and make – um, it's like a make a wish kind of a, a thing. When I'm here. <laughs> so, uh, you guys do your final thoughts and I'll be back to close us out. Well, final, thought. well, final thoughts. Final thoughts. That's I, I find myself wanting to go to the DL more than WDW sometimes, just cause I know I could get in and out faster. I don't Same have here. Shuttles mm -hmm. and the food's better. Yes. Kind of all around. Overall. I'm, I think it tastes better. I think it's Same here. Same so, here. I've, okay, so I've been to WDW three times since you've been, and it seems like they've upped the food game a maybe, little gradually, so it's more just, on, on par with the DL. Maybe you just haven't been to the DL in a while. I think and the signature like, dining at WDW is better yeah. than signature at DL. Possibly that. Like California so Grill is better than our thing. Signature dining. Hello, little thing. All <laughs> <laughs> uh, of, of Bell 898 and Kimberly. Once she found out Kimberly was going to be on the symposium, she asked if she could join in. She wants a big shout out to Bella out there. Um, <laughs> she hasn't taken her Pluto um, metal off since her four miler. The, she sleeps in it. Uh, she goes on walks in it. She bathes in it. Um, she refuses to take it off. So um, this is this is one of your number one fans, Kimberly. Oh my goodness, she is the most cutest fan ever. She wins that award. Approved. Aww. Whoa, that's big. Yeah, Kimberly has a lot of fans. Yo, a lot of fans. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fans. <laughs> yeah. And this one has a medal. I mean, that's impressive. Just I also bathe in my medals. She How does her streaking with you? cool kids, and she would have posted her streaking with the cool kids <laughs> hashtag if she had her own phone. She's still a little too young for that, but. Aww. All right. Well, I think that might wrap us up. Does anyone have anything they want to add before we close out this uh, amazing roundtable edition episode of Slacker Symposium? Well, uh, Jay Crow has. Have... Oh, go ahead. Have, you have, are you going <laughs> to. Are you going to book your DL vacation now, J. Crow? I'm glad oh. that I was going to get to that in our closing remarks, but I kind of had the um, Walt Disney World uh, is the greatest thing ever uh, change my mind mindset. And I think you guys did a really good job of doing that. And so uh, you might find me at the DL as soon as uh, the media chlorians uh, allow that to happen. Yay. Yay. Thank Yay. You. This was really educational. Well, I just wanted to give a shout out to you for your excellent moderating skills. And it just reinforces mm -hmm. that you would be an excellent Lytle Lake Water and District Director. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. One more, one more, one more thing here. These are invisible keys in my hand. These are the keys to the channel. So, you know, make sure. Oh! I'm <laughs> Thank you. I'll <laughs> grab those from you. Uh, Where are you going to take it? Of course, I'm, of course, I know you can do this because we, we work years and years on video things. And you're uh, one of the, the subjects is in so many different projects. So well done on this hosting, Mr. J. Crow. Thank you. The honor was mine, uh, getting to work with Jar Ox and Spoon for a decade now on professional and mostly unprofessional uh, video <laughs> campaigns. <True. laughs> Hi, Dwayne. <laughs> glad we can continue to do it. Um, there's that was a lot of long time viewers. 
we're going to, um, long time viewers who are going to sympathize uh, with what I'm about to say here. Um, I have always wanted to do this. Like, Aww. subscribe, tell your mom about this. Wow.